Well, everybody, out on a windy Saturday afternoon, Saturday, October 12th. Season should be winding down here soon as we get to probably uh, Halloween. And I just had a uh, 8.45 signal that said 7 to 8 inches deep with the CTX 3030. Uh, bright, sunshiny, late afternoon. And uh, it was a little warbly, and I thought, oh, this could be a silver. And you can see I got the, a decent sized plug cut. And it was not even registering with the Garrett Pro Pointer in the bottom of the hole, so I had to dig up some more. And then I got it out of the hole here, and it is a silver dime. And I believe it's going to be, well, I don't know, let me see what I can see here. What does that look like? Oh my god. It's going to be either a barber or a seated. I don't know if you guys can see the, I can see the DI from Dime in the center. So I don't know what that is, I'll have to get it washed off. Not quite as uh, thin as the one I had last week uh, for my seated, but this could be a seated. I'm not sure, I'll have to get it washed off and let you know later. Thanks for watching everybody, I think that's uh, silver number, I think it's 17 or 18 for the year. We'll uh, get it cleaned up in a bit, thanks for watching. Well, everybody, I got enough dirt, dirt off of it to see the date. It's 1907, and I believe there is a D mint mark on the back. So, uh, hard to tell from this camera angle anyway, but I believe it's a 1907 D barber. All right, take care, everybody. All right, guys, just uh, got a 1239, 1240, and it's in the plug as I've dug and cut it out. I don't know if you can see that or not. Hopefully that uh, focuses in, but it looks like it might be a silver ring with a little piece of turquoise on there. Very small piece. Very small ring too. But hopefully that's uh, got a marking in it. it. Looks pretty nice. All right, back at you if I find anything else. Good. All right, guys. I'm going to try to do a uh, a live um, scanning. Hopefully, you can see the screen there. Four forty-six. Fourteen forty-seven. You see the depth on that? It's saying seven inches. Forty-four, seven inches. Eight forty-nine. Twelve forty-six. Let me dig that up and see what I can find. Okay, I'm getting down to it. Got the plug cut. Got a bunch of dirt out. But yet it's still in the bottom of the hole. So let's go a little bit deeper yet. See if I can do some of this on camera. Hold on. Ah. Well, I see it. I don't know what it is. Huh. I'll have to clean that up and see what it is later. Looks like a big horseshoe on the back. Bunch of writing on the front, but I can't read what it is out here. I anyway, see Paris 1900 on there, St. Louis 1904. Huh. 72 years by the U.S. Marine Hospitality, or Hospital, Base, huh, don't know what that is, I'll have to get it cleaned up better when I get home. Well, one more hole before we uh, call it quits for the night. I was getting a bouncy signal, but it was very deep, um, not coming in very clear, but was repeatable with totally different numbers every single time. Um, and down, after getting the plug up 
and I cut it down into the hole. It was way down in there, and I got down in and flipped it up, and I see it up here now. And it looks to me like it's going to be another silver dime. Not going to be sure what it is. Uh, set it down here and see if I can uh, recognize anything on the back. Oh my god, it looks like it's going to be another barber. I'll have to get it cleaned up and let you know. Take care. Well, here are those two barber dimes. The one on the right is the one I found first, which was, uh, let's see if they'll focus here. Come on now, focus. There, maybe, 1907D, and the one I just found is a 1905O. And you can see it's got a little orange on its nose there, and on the back as well. So there must have been some iron around it uh, that may have disintegrated over time. But that's pretty cool. 1907D, 1905O. Awesome. I'll have to get them better cleaned up when I get home. Take care, everybody. All right, everybody. Back home with the uh, finds all cleaned up. There's my clad. A dollar and quarters, a dollar and dimes, four nickels and eight pennies. And on to the good stuff. I got a cool watch, Bob. I don't know if that'll all show up clear or not but along the outside rim it says used for the last 12 years by the US Marine Hospital Service and then a bunch of awards and dates in the uh, 1900s to 1907 time frame and on the back it's got a horseshoe around the outside rim um, a horse and at the top it says she was bred and in the bottom it says, in Old Kentucky. And on the horse, on the saddlebags, there's actually a jug that says Green River, uh, which I think it's Green River Whiskey. So it's probably uh, dates back to, well, somewhere between 1907 and 1920. Pretty cool. Also found this uh, sterling silver ring with a piece of turquoise on it. A very small child's ring, but still pretty cool. And then the best finds two barber dimes <clears throat> a 1907D that's pretty stained both on the front and the back hopefully you can see the uh, D mint mark there and then the second one that I found a 1905O and you can see there's some uh, iron staining on the nose of the uh, Liberty on the front and then quite a bit of uh, orange staining on the back as well but you can clearly see the O mint mark on that so really happy to find both of those, and uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day, everybody. Happy hunting.